Hi there, Mark from CEM Engineering and Energy Radio, and this is your Energy News Update. In this week's headlines, Canada asks U.S. court to prevent Michigan from shutting down Line 5 pipeline. Former coal mines in Britain are being tested to see if they can become a geothermal energy plant. Colonial Pipeline paid hackers nearly 5 million in ransom, sources say. Bitcoin's fossil fuel use criticized, but some Canadian companies hope to turn it green. We're going to head over to my colleague Lisa Barber for today's top stories. Thank you, Mark, and welcome to this week's edition of Energy News. A recent Ontario Energy Board staff bulletin indicates that even though existing industrial conservation initiative participants in 2021 to 2022 will see their global adjustment charges determined based on 2019 to 2020 peak hour consumption, their eligibility to participate in the Industrial Conservation Initiative will be based on their 2020 to 2021 consumption. The Industrial Conservation Initiative allows participating companies to manage their global adjustment costs by reducing their consumption during peak periods in Ontario. To be eligible, companies must have an average monthly peak demand for a single load of greater than 1 megawatt or 500 kilowatts for certain industries during an annual base period that occurs from May 1, 2020 to April 30, 2021. In other news, cows at one of the largest dairy producers, Fonterra Cooperative Group in New Zealand, are receiving a cocktail branded Cowbucha to see if it can reduce the amount of methane burped by the country's 4.9 million cows. The aim of the study is to reduce methane from New Zealand's agricultural sector, which is 56 times more potent than CO2 to global warming when measured over 20 years. Methane typically stays in the atmosphere for only a decade, so reducing its output can deliver a relatively quick win compared with CO2, which lingers for centuries. It is argued by some environmentalists and climate groups that a true commitment to net zero would include methane in the overall target and the reduction of methane from even cow burping is likely critical for New Zealand to reach the true definition of net zero. My name is Lisa Barber and this was this week's edition of Energy News. Wishing everyone a safe week and back to you, Mark. Thanks, Lisa. To learn more about these stories, check out our LinkedIn profile. All the articles will be posted there. Thanks for tuning in to Energy News. And as always, power your purpose.